This is the end of day two of hiking. Well, yes, of hiking. Our it's August three. 3rd. Day three. We're both kind of smelly and sweaty and a little... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Many things. Yeah. So, just to summarize super quickly, we hiked 16 miles our first day and camped out at this really nice campsite. But by the end of about... At about mile 12, both of us were dying because it was super downhill. Arches were hurting bad. Toes were getting squished. So by the time we got to mile 16, we were dead tired. So camped, got up the next morning, and Emily's foot was feeling really, really bad. So we were thinking maybe just take a rest day. But then soaked it in the stream, felt a little better. So we're like, okay, let's get on with it and let's keep hiking. So ended up hiking about a mile and a half and hit a trail where we had been warned there was a washout. And we were basically on the side of a cliff, rocks running down this way. And the trail was supposed to be nice and wide to give us a good path, kind of cutting across the middle of the mountain doing switchbacks. But the trail had been washed out. So there was only about half the trail. And then at points it was dipping down into these little kind of caverns and then coming back up ravines, ravines um, on the side of the mountain on top of rocks. A couple um, thousand feet up in the air, too. Yeah, we so were like, well. if you had been falling, you would have fallen like a thousand feet down. Yes, on a rock bed. So we were 12 miles from Canada, and we decided that given that we were <laughs> two days into a 70-day journey... <laughs> wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. So we turned around, we hiked past then the campsite we had camped at, and got back to one that we've passed, because we are hiking back down to Hearts Pass. Um, so we're now about 10 miles from Hearts Pass. And uh, we passed a water about a mile ago, but thought there was another one closer to camp, but apparently not. So we, so have, we have that much water. So we don't get night. dinner because we were going to make some ramen, but our three other bottles are completely empty. I jogged about a mile up the road and didn't encounter any water. So we're going to camp, get up early, and just grab a snack and head out. And as soon as we hit water, hydrate. So, yeah. And redo it but uh, i wanted to show you our view behind us yeah we'll spin around we can uh well here's our tent all set up and our view back here the sun is setting we're looking out over this gorgeous valley we're out in a right on devil's backbone devil's peak is up in the distance i don't know if we can see it from here oh can't see it really through here but it's a big ass piece of rock my hair is lovely as you can see both a little little (laughs) weary but doing good. I feel like we only ended up hiking about eight, nine miles today. Nine so miles. Nine, nine, nine miles. and a half. Okay. So, uh, so bodies are feeling pretty good, but uh, hungry and going to go to bed to stop thinking about it and thirsty, yeah. but we'll get water in the morning. Go to so. bed too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bye. Just sleep it off. There's a bear munching on some berries straight ahead of us there behind that bush. You can kind of see it moving. I can't zoom in on the video, but we saw one earlier. This one's clearly just camped out, chowing down on some raspberries or things. I'm gonna, we're gonna keep on hiking now, but just thought I'd share that with you guys.